Galaxies are not randomly distributed in the universe. We find most of them in groups and clusters, which are themselves part of large-scale structures, such as sheets and filaments. These enormous structures contain millions of galaxies and are separated by large voids in which very few galaxies can be found. The unfathomably long cosmic threads of hot gas, known as intergalactic filaments, bind and surround galaxies and galaxy clusters throughout the universe. A team of scientists led by the University of Bonn has just found the longest one yet. A massive intergalactic gas filament measuring at least 50 million light years in length, the longest yet to be found. Its structure is strikingly similar to the predictions of computer simulations, and it confirms our ideas about the origin and evolution of our universe. Intergalactic filaments weave a cosmic web that stretches across the observable universe. Within this structure, galaxies are arranged in a web-like pattern, connected by and surrounded by these filaments. Just 5% of the universe is made up of ordinary or visible matter. So far, astronomers have visually confirmed the existence of only about half that matter. Previously, astronomers have theorized that much of the universe's missing matter is hiding inside elusive intergalactic gas filaments. About 13.8 billion years ago, the Big Bang, which was initially concentrated at one point, kick-started our universe and triggered it to expand at breakneck speed. The cosmic matter spread out almost uniformly, but not quite. In some parts, the cloud of hydrogen gas that makes up the known matter in the universe was a bit denser than in others. Those dense pockets hosted stronger gravitational forces, which drew gas from their surroundings towards them. Over time, more and more matter concentrated at these regions, which were separated by greater expanses of emptiness. Over the course of a good 13 billion years, a kind of sponge structure developed, large holes without any matter, with areas in between where thousands of galaxies are gathered in a small space, so-called galaxy clusters. At least that's how scientists suggest the birth and evolution of our universe went down. If that's the case, then the galaxies and clusters should still be connected by thin filaments of gas like the gossamer thin threads of a spider web. The team of researchers suggests that according to calculations, more than half of all baryonic matter in our universe is contained in these filaments. Because many of these filaments have been stretched so thin, they're exceptionally diffuse. The matter in them contains just 10 particles per cubic meter, which is much less than the best vacuum we can create on Earth. Because they are so wispy and diffuse, it's nearly impossible to see them using traditional methods of observation. Thankfully, researchers have a new measuring instrument for finding intergalactic gas filaments. The E. Rosita Space Telescope, an X-ray telescope built by the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics in Germany. Using E. Rosita, the University of Bonn researchers were able to make the gas completely visible for the first time. The Space Telescope has very sensitive detectors for the type of X-ray radiation that emanates from the gas in filaments. EROSITA also has a large field of view, like a wide-angle lens. It captures a relatively large part of the sky in a single measurement and at a very high resolution. This is how scientists get detailed images of such huge objects as filaments in a comparatively short time. The newly identified filament was found linking the three galactic clusters that form the superstructure of Bell 3391-95, which is located some 700 million light-years from Earth. 
The filament revealed in Irazita's images of a Bell 3391-95 measures 50 million light years in length. However, while this is the longest filament ever observed, the researchers suspect they're only glimpsing a small part of it. The entire filament may be even more enormous. With lengths of hundreds of millions of light years, but thicknesses of only about 20 million light years, galactic filaments are some of the largest known structures in the universe. These cosmic spider webs can reveal a great deal about the present day universe on the largest scales, but can also give us an idea about the processes on the very smallest scales in the very early universe. Thank <laughs> you.